shit was that out of my headset? So lately, me and the dudes have been like shifting, like picking topics for each other. Yeah. Or like asking each other questions. So the first one I have for you. Damn, that's really cool. See, I like the way that they're doing this. That that was just like a cold opening. Yeah, absolutely. But is uh, these little questions slash topics is what's the one thing first that you miss about being a kid? Um. We, at least we live in luxury apartments. See. Well, we're the sheriff. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and. Yeah, we should look at the plaque. Um, so they kind of color coded the icons too to match, sure so that you no longer use the D pad. Oh. You know, you can kind of just you can see here like I'm gonna hit the red button B to go in and use it instead of having to select it. It's already just yeah out there. Uh, what were you gonna say though? What is the one thing I missed? I mean, I think just the overall like aura of like care carefreeness that you don't really have as an adult like mm -hmm. you know once the loss of innocence occurs or whatever that you can never see life in the same carefree way what that you once were able to see it you know so you have to come on out here come, yeah. come on out such a fucking hard ass <laughs> that red all right all right beauty hello big b I wasn't expecting anyone. Out oh, pretty late. I know this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with the third degree? Damn it, I'm late. What the hell? I guess we should have asked why she was hiding. Please, I baby. regret. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would Stay just make it. my life a lot okay. easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Anytime it's like, they'll remember that, I'm like, oh no, is that the bad thing or the right thing to remember? It's not what you might be thinking. You instinctively did Walking Dead, so I mean, trust your decisions, you know what I mean? Yeah, that didn't end up like super <laughs> Sometimes, for us. yeah. I mean, just remember like, one thing I learned about playing The Walking Dead, you know, about like the decisions is if you can help someone, help them. You know, yeah. like if there's an option, attempt to help and let the game like game over you. I guess I'm always like, I'm trying to be like, just and fair and helpful like that's my absolutely like, then play it that way if that's, that's how you want to play it to. you know you're, t you're totally supposed to tailor it to like what you would say in that situation which i mean no. both of us would be like shit i don't even want to know you know what no. i mean um and i guess the other thing i missed out being a kid is um i used to spend a lot of time like out in the woods like i would just be able to go wander around for like hours at a time no one really cared hey. You and I miss that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Just having a time to, like, Probably truly wander. I remember that, too, of, like, uh, just, um, games like War and, and, uh, what you call it, um, <laughs> Do we look at the book to see who signed in and out? Uh, it's just, you just end up looking at the desk. You can't really... Oh, Go look at our mailboxes. Yeah, I wonder if we can see what's been a while since oh. I got any mail. Wolf leaves it. You can just tell Big B lives a lonely ass life. Seven no. day in a row. So, I, yeah, like that and flashlight tag. I used to do the same thing because you kind of, you know, my dad still lives in the same house. Oh, Beast, Mr. Blue, says, Jay Beard. Can we look at that? Yeah, again? can you see it again? Uh, Snow, Snow White. White, Horner, who's that? Trimble, F Catcher, I don't know. Who's K Cole? I don't know, and a lot of private ones. Yeah, we're private, aren't we? I thought it said Bigby. I'll look one more time. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. Everyone knows where we live. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're like Big B Beard. We could be... Because it's just... We don't know our last name yet. B Beard. B Beard? Alright, before I hit that button... I'm gonna I can see our last name being Beard. Like, that would be... Beard? Funny. Yeah. I think Big B's our last name. Oh, what's our right? last name then? I don't, I don't know. know. I just see, like, them calling us by our last name as opposed to our first name. She it can't go that way. Let's go and push the elevator button. Get into the elevator. What the hell? Beast. Bigby. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Shit. Um, staying out of this? <laughs> okay. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. <laughs> you avoided this question. Well, I don't want to say, you know, we couldn't, like, be yeah, like... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the bitch is running wild. You know. Although, if something bad happens, then we're going to feel bad. But at the same time, we, if we told her we're not, we're staying out of it, we got to yep. Yep, be yep, consistent. Yep. Do you think that was the wrong decision? Should no, we get shit. Involved? Stop feeling self-conscious. Ah! I just want to make sure we do things correctly. I think we're, I think we're doing, we're doing just fine. Two of four. Yes. Damn. Should have cracked a window. Old school, do not disturb. Yeah, because there isn't that girl supposed to come by, so maybe she'll need to call us, you know? I don't think Bigby gives a shit. Also, these really don't look like luxury apartments. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure, like, if you take care of it, it could be nice, you know? But yeah. he... He clearly picked, like, the cheapest one, and... What a night. It kind of reminds me of, like, the apartment building that, like, uh, Fox Mulder lives in in the X-Files. Yeah. Let's kind of look here. Well, you can't look at that real quick. I know. Uh, fridge. All these, like, cool things I want to read. I'm like, why don't you look Yeah, well, they like, made the magnet, like... Watch me. The fridge. Huff and puff. Bro, you can refill that shit. There ain't even anything else in there. He doesn't care. Yeah, that's true. Not really taking care of himself, so. Ooh, here we go. It's a uh, Bluebeard the... file. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Who's Bluebeard? Let's, what uh, does this book of fables entries unlock mean? I have no idea. I don't even remember ordering that. Is that like history Probably we could find out? I'm, I'm guessing so, or like something to do with like the comic, you know? Go ahead and turn the fan on. Go. Should help. For some reason, because it's cold out here. Oh my god! Like, what the hell, Colin? <sighs> One of the three little pigs, maybe? Hey, Colin, get up. <laughs> Look at Grant. Is that Red or Granny or mm. in the picture? Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Come on, I'm tired. There's only the one. There's uh nothing. Just... Nothing. All right, all right. <laughs> He's just going to stare at his big ass. Silence is an option. He seems like the strong and silent. So he doesn't have a bed. He just has a chair. There's only the one. <laughs> he saw the phone. Oh, God. Damn. Got a smoke? What the fuck? Yes, pig smoking. Yep. 
How's he gonna? Okay. I, know, I just right. thought that. I was like, you feel close. A couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. Oh. You can't yeah, keep sneaking off the phone the... like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Just want some rest. Take a sip. Uh, I just take a sip. I just want some rest. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> I'm just gonna rub it in his fucking nice. face. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Everyone hates I, I me. I was just hungry. Everyone hates me. Everyone hates me. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Well, it's hard to know. I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Damn. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. My job. Yeah, I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, that's not fair for Colin to remember that. We didn't have any choice over that. My job yeah. is easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front <laughs> of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. There was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Damn. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. So like life is easier with friends. You snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Say the way you look Will at you snow. shut up? Hmm. Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I look. Give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give, Give Colin a drink. drink. Here, you asshole. For man, I thought we were gonna <laughs> throw it in his face. Still never solved our smoking dilemma. <laughs> yeah, he just kept it in his mouth the whole time. Guess he just like. Used his nostrils to ash it. Gross. I think it's her. Or Beast. If it's Beast, we're gonna whoop his big ass too, which is no, taking beast everyone looked, out. Like, truly yeah, Beast looked like truly Yeah, Beast looked. He, he looked like a good bro. Straight in your tie. Big B. Snow White. 
Come with me. How did you know? Blue eyes, dark hair, snow on her... her snow. Water. Oh, yeah. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... So down, what happened? Where we go? All right. What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, his first name is Bigsby. His last name is Wolf. Okay. Wolf. Yep. These walls are paper thin. And everyone hears every we little need sound. need to be careful. We'll talk outside. <sighs> I just got that. Yeah! <laughs> For all you Modest Mouse fans out there. These walls are paper thin and everyone is a real Everyone's a boy. So watch me, watch you, watch me right now. <laughs> Love that song. Just so you guys know, we are talented um, musicians. Acapella musicians. Yeah. Yeah. Quit licking my elbow. My dog's licking my elbow. My dog it gets he in these weird, me, weird like little moves where like right now he's all like hang dog, hang dog, and like babyish because I don't I, I don't know why he just ends up being. Some days he's like that. Kind of a so bitch. Weird. Going on out there? Oh. Dun, 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 dun. That's the security guard that was sleeping. Yeah. But he just threw his jacket out there because his body was not in it. <gasps> Excuse me. Grab. Yeah. Or did he morph back or something? We got a lot of people morphing lately, like. <gasps> oh. oh! Oh! Shit! You knew this girl? Is. She's not a Mundy, right? What's a Mundy? Mundane. Who was she? What? I thought. Like a mundane person. I knew everyone in fact. Working girl. Just a girl? Just a girl. She looks familiar. Just a. Uh girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. It's either a warning or the lumberjack to that. something in her mouth. There is something in her mouth, you're right. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Who found her? What Did happened? You see, what happened? Did you see anyone? What? So... Did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Damn, I can't believe they cut her head off. I thought she was going to be like uh, yeah, around too. a little bit longer there. What's in her mouth? Yes. All right. Examine the mouth. What is? Clearly, we're going to remove the item. Because this is sending us a message for sure. It's her ribbon. ribbon. In her There's ring. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Alright, we have her ring. Let's examine the neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. In their eyes? And, uh, just the head in general. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? She's acting a little suspicious. I'm, I'm sorry. 
This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Investigate more? Investigate more. Yeah. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. We just saw that blood. Okay. Good idea. For sure. All right, it was off over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another little item right there. Why? Oh, can touch the blood trail. Blood. Drops of blood. I see it's been here an hour, maybe. Use them wolf senses, bro. All right, now there's another little shiny object here that indicates ah, a scrap of fabric. A trash can. Looks like a little look at that. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Jeans. Look at the rest of the bodies in the trash can. <laughs> oh, I hope not. <laughs> there is blood on the fence, though, so that person must have been hurt. There's some loose trash. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Like coming over, you think? Yeah. Like, or, I mean, coming over toward us, yeah. or escaping. Sharp I think coming toward us. Coming towards, because yeah. there's a lot of blood there. I won't let us go beyond that. Yeah. It was just loose trash. All right, so let's kind of get back over towards snow and see what we can tell her. I wonder if there's like any trails past her. Like, if that's the way we entered, did we exit a different way? You know. Uh oh, we can show her the. What are you doing? Look. Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? So I brought heard this is a message. I this think. is a message, yeah. yeah. This is a Big message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think Placement that? Placement of the head, the victim herself. The placement of the head. Yeah. Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just, wait just a be worse yeah. if he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. And I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Snow's a little weird. Yeah, she is. How are you feeling? I don't know if she just like her movements are a little strange, but not that's not to say anything. Also, I don't know what that interaction with that person in the hallway was. That was strange. That was really strange, and why she was like "Good morning" or yeah, "Night," you know, yeah. like why she wouldn't know what time it is. Some crazy shit is going down, and why the person feels the need to leave a note. There's that guy again. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being I the sheriff. Here. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. 
That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Yes, I see. Because you were the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. Well, she just went right fucking to him. It's a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You That's are trusted my to fault keep things running smoothly No one to blame. Here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell Make me you've been crane. doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Oh, Christ. All right, so the pimp, Bluebeard, or the woodsman? I don't think we should accuse, like... One of the actual characters, because I think that could be very bad, so... Stay silent? Either stay silent. Stay silent, yeah. Bluebeard came <clears throat> to mind. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Damn. Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. <laughs> They're just best no, to not even. No, no, no pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, yeah, that's fine. I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Ah, oh, you yeah. think? I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Let's get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking, and yeah, we don't give a shit about. Never mind. Okay. Smoke away. What's the wine about? He gets a morning massage. Crane is an asshole. What's the wine about? Okay. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is, Good old. is he gone? Yes, thankfully. What the hell? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> Is that one of Elphaba's monkeys? I don't know. I don't remember them being green, but I guess it's the only thing that How are you sense. today, Mr. Bigby? <sighs> fine. Fuck off. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Bring the first three. What's that tree? Oh, is that a painting? He knows the ones What's a tree. About. This is the weirdest There's office bound to be ever. information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I These really are all like this artifacts squared away. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, talk to the mirror. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. 
Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? <laughs> yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Snow, what's the I don't know her I name. don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Um Woodsman? Do you think it would Ask about Woodsman. Okay. Show me the Woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The Woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. We know where Snow is, and we know where Buffkin is. Or look, for, look at Buffkin, I guess. Okay. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Might as well look at Snow. She's in the room with us. Show so. me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. See, I should have. Uh, Show me the woodsman. Woods. One more time. See if he's still. <laughs> So he's definitely not in the uh, yeah. ability to kill someone right now. All right. right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Awesome. That's good to know. Except for if we have to know, like, if they can only show us where they are. Oh, that's true. What, what he good. does no good. Well, I'm yeah. sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. But hopefully this book will give us the name. And then we can go back to the magic mirror. Yeah. It's weird that it gave us the option of the lamp. Hmm. I mean, you could rub it and see what happens. The genie's been freed, though. Well, but what if... Worth a try. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if we could show the mirror arm. We can't show the mirror our, um... Bring the head in. <laughs> no, the <laughs> ring. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. It didn't really let Any me select the ring. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. 